Here's an oil interface meter from our rental department. Let's just have a little look here. So there is a wee probe here. Now when we immerse into the water layer, we're going to bridge the gap between the body of the probe and this little prong, and that will register, and on this meter it's an intermittent tone. And then there is a little window here, and the window is for the product layer, and that will register, and that is with a solid tone. So what's going to happen, we lower this in, and as we hit the product layer, the window will register and you'll get your solid tone. And then as we push through, it will take a moment for that layer to clear away as we go into the water layer. So actually, if you stop there and take your next measurement, you're overestimating the product layer. So what we recommend is that once you've gone through, you pull the probe back out again until it registers an in intermittent tone and that gives you your most accurate measurement. Okay, so let's test the theory. Let's drop this in, we'll go through the product layer and into the water layer and then we'll lift the probe back up until we get a solid tone again. Okay, now lifting out again. So that was about 5mm difference as it's pushing through the product layer.